Hey folks, welcome back to Shadow Empire. Sorry about the bit of a delay in the uh, episodes. Uh, partly because I haven't had that much time. My time started to increase a little bit and I kind of just needed a bit of a break from uh, strategy games as well. So, uh, had a, yeah, had a little bit of a break. It's been good for me because I can come back at this with fresh eyes now. Um, so, let's see what we can do. Um, did, let me ha show you what happened in the vidcom. So, we discovered metal deposits in Mawalet. Might become useful at some point. We're still in the time of relative calm. Uh, we've completed research of metal soil filtration. Uh, unfortunately, we can't really hope to get this up yet. Um, we got a bunch of lines, in, uh, sorry, a bunch of cards, including all out attack and hold a line, and send spy team and shadow diplomat. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm. This is worrying. We got the demon. Demons just ignored all my, my, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, zone of controls. I'm gonna have to move these guys back to try and see these off. Um, let's make a probing attack in here just to try and take some... There's going to be a big group of them, probably. Yeah, try and take some action points away from them. Mission accomplished. Okay, that that did push them closer to the road, which isn't ideal. Can we get these guys moving now? They're too heavy. Oh, okay, we can't... I, I, don't, I think those are probably going to try and come down here now, but we've got another line of supply, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, let's get these buggies up here just to try and help out against against these demons. There's loads of them. These guys are all... Um, they're not, they didn't get supplied, by the way. We haven't got a supply route. Let's cut that. Let's just demolish that infrastructure there. Okay. And so we're just uh, we're losing a little less branching penalties. And then we're going to send this... Have this as a sealed road up here, I think. Wow. Okay, I don't have any industrial points. That must be because we're building this factory. Let's have a look, quick look at the construction. I, th I think we're going to have to have a fallow turn this turn. And what do I mean by that? I mean a turn where we just don't really do very much. Yeah, so the high... It's these high... Um, not Sorry, it's the Industry 4. I think we're putting this up too early. Yeah, look, we're not we're not paying any industrial points on this anyway. Let's just put this down to twenty five percent, and then we'll get some more industrial points next turn. <clears throat> so yeah, as for this fellow turn, I'm just going to try to I'm just going to try. I think we're going to have to retreat here um, and move these troops back. Start pulling these back. Kill these demons finally. Now we've yeah, got them pushed up against a uh, up against uh, the enemy. No, they're not going to go down that easily, are they? <clears throat> All right. So, what can we do here? Not really a lot. Don't have any enough action points in those aircraft to really use them. I think we have to. We're going to have to move back here. So we can. Try and get this group here in a in a pocket. I, I, the thing is, though, with the pockets, they don't they don't really suffer from supply problems. Mission accomplished. So it's kind of not a great. I mean, it's not the it's not that helpful to get these guys in a pocket. Let's see if we can. Do it, do it this is going to be a risky attack, but let's see if we can kill these guys this turn. That's not happening. Look. Okay, I got a little unlucky there. I think. Do it, do it I needed now. luck to win it. Oh, good lord. Okay. These guys were doing fine. Now they're failing me because they don't have enough supply. So, okay. Let's just continue moving these guys back. We've got something coming down this way. What have we got here? Machine guns. Motorized machine guns. Uh, yeah, we'll bring these guys up here. Just try and finish these guys off. Now, <clears throat> we built this 5th Brigade. The 5th Machine Gun Infantry Brigade. They don't have a commander at the moment. Let's g let's give them... Let's put someone in the OHQ. Uh, we've got a load of cap, cap 1 heroes. And they're no good. He's kind of okay, I guess. Let's see if we can get another leader. 
Let's see what else we've got to do first, because it might determine what we can do. Okay, there's a lab here. Yeah, we want the research bonus points. Yes, sir. Uh, major worker striking, Gwegon. Uh, oh, by the way, no. money is a real problem now. <clears throat> real problem. Model Design Council task priorities. No change. Foreign Affairs Council task priorities. Going to put that almost entirely into Asia now. Economic Council research objective. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of, of resources. Serpentinization gives you energy. We don't need energy now. I think. I think that's an energy tech, yeah. Deep core mining gives you energy as well. No, that one's fuel, I think. Yeah, that's fuel from the lithosphere. Let me just jump into the planet statistics. Okay, so deep core gas modifier is going to be really high. So that might be a good one to get for fuel. I think it's about deep core. I don't think I've ever used this one. So I'm really not sure. Uh, deep core mining with a 400% modifier, by the way, is going to be way better than synthetic fuel. So that would be a good one to go for, probably. Nuclear power we can't really do yet. We need tons of high-tech stuff for that and machines. Um, yeah, I think... I think deep core mining. Okay. So that leaves us with this decision for... Uh, filling an OHQ. Let's recruit a military. See if we can get a good one. Pax Assam. Okay. Alright, he's more of a covert ops and a high command guy. And uh, his capability too, but he's, yeah, he's okay. He'll learn. Uh, he's actually got uh he's actually got some uh, abilities. Look, he's got lead from the front. He, okay, he was a scout. Yeah, it looks like he was mechanized infantry. So he's got deception as well. It's kinda cool. Yeah, let's pick him. Roger that. Okay. So where do we deploy these guys? Um, I really wanted them over here to pretend, fend off against an attack. I do wonder. Well, we've got this. This both of these uh, fronts are pretty sh pretty wrecked. Um, really, really in bad state. We have got plenty of troops to replenish them, which is kind of what we're going to do this turn. I think we're going to try to get the machine gunners up as a matter of priority. Um, Yeah, we'll get some machine gunners, and then we're going to get some infantry. And that's basically what we're going to do this turn. Um, and then, yeah, I, I think... Do we try and kill the demons off? They want to be doing something. Um, I don't want to be... I don't want them to be sat there doing nothing. Yeah, I think what we do is we, we send this professional brigade up here to go... Oh, sorry, the... They're all professional, but, you know, these guys will... These guys will do the job in killing those demons. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll send them up that way to try and deal with this problem. These guys are just going to... We're, we're losing this war, and there's not a whole lot I can do about it. We're just going to hang on. We're going to hang on. This side... Yeah, we'll keep those there. Uh, yeah, look, uh, these guys are pushed in here. So we're kind of, we're on the clock, um, as I've been saying. Don't really have... Yeah, they've got massive amounts of troops in there. Now, I don't want Dunkelstart to have a close border with this zone because that's a bad idea. That, I really, really do not want that. Um, but I, th I don't think I can attack this turn. I think we're just too we're too weak. Uh, logistics are kind of bad. Let's just cut everything off that way. We don't need any points going down that side now. Let's just cut everything but a few pull points off that way. I 
I'm not going to get enough that way. Put these guys back. Um. Okay. All right, we've got a bit of a gap now between us and the western side of uh, Brown Bond's forces. I think we, we wait here for reinforcements and let these guys replenish because uh, we'll get these artillery in. Um, we'll do a we'll just artillery bombard these guys with what we can. You guys have got some guns as well. Massive amounts of troops. Okay. What have we got? Come on. Yeah, we, we don't barely scratched it. But almost not worth doing. Uh, on a big on a big force like that. Okay, it's a dunkel start now. We can move these guys. This is Brown Bond. I'm going to try and take this territory. Now, those guys are going to be out of supply. That's okay. Uh, oh, they were already quite out of supply. Okay. What casualty rate like? Ooh, yikes. Pretty bad. Oops. I want stratagems. And... All for the front. We've got a card. Oh. Doesn't look like we do. Uh oh. Uh, we're going to have to trade as well. Okay, the traders have got some money. Let's sell 500 credits worth of water. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, we'll sell a bunch of fuel. Aye, aye, sir. Got 2,500 left. Got some metal. 50 metal. Aye, aye, sir. And we'll sell... Sell some rares, which I don't aye, like aye, doing. Sir. And then we'll sell 58 aye, aye, water. Sir. All right. Now, we're not leaving them with much. But we need the money. Okay, that's given us 6,000. That's not going to be a never-ending supply, I don't think. Unless we are, you know, we are one of the most resource-rich places on the planet. Which is possible. Uh, that is possible. Okay. That's going to be it for this turn, folks. Okay, we lost 500 infantry and 10 tanks. Let's have a look what happened. Okay, so elections have been held and the Republican Knights have held on to the elections. Um, okay, we made we, we made our promise to the Republican Knights. I'd actually forgotten about that. Uh, we've developed ARPG-4, so we've got some better RPG guns. They're going to be useful, I hope. I think we're probably going to be... It's going to be another grindy infantry war anyway. We discovered a new tech, a logistical uh, optimization. This is a new one. I've not seen this one before. There are many best practices that are not implemented throughout our logistical chain. If we are methodical, we can improve our efficiency a lot. Okay, that might be a good thing to start getting our uh, Applied Science Council working on. Uh, we've got an offer of the front card now. Let's play that straight away. So... Copy that. Okay, because we are losing... We are, people are not very happy about these wars. Endless wars. Uh, let's... Okay, let's just have a look at what happened in history. We got pushed back in the north, as you can see. Here's, it's also important to see what's going on in this war between Dunkelstadt and Brown Bond as well on this southern border because it looks like Dunkel, if Brown Bond gets to this uh, Dunkelstadt get in there before me it's kind of game over I, I, I mean and I mean that it's game over because I'm relying on that zone and the people in it to be able to um, front you know hold up a front basically I, I need I need more people I need more resources, I just need everything and if they take it before me I think it's probably going to be game over and I'm not saying that, you know, as a defeatist I'm saying that as someone who knows Shadow Empire pretty well um, you know 
I, th I think it'll be very, very, very difficult to win if they take that because I really, really need it. So this situ uh, I think we've got to put, basically put everything we can into winning this now. Um, now they can't they, they can't take it easily because they've only got one hex access and I really 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 need to surround this myself I think let's get this artillery down on either side um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to we're just going to try and soften this uh... aye, aye, sir. yeah look this is working because they're not they're not in uh, they're not entrenched in they're not so heavily entrenched, and we're gonna we'll be able to actually knock their entrenchment down somewhat. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the, uh, yeah, the decisions for the turn. The militia learns from experience. I can't afford to pay those guys. Mold design council. Um, yeah, I'm not bothered about model design this turn. I don't think. These are a better model, though. Look at this. <clears throat> Nearly double the combat rating. For a small increase in cost. Uh, and a small increase in combat ammo as well. So, yeah, really, really good tech. Got a good design. Better weapons, better armor. And then, obviously, they've got the uh, benefit of some of the new techs as well. Including the armor piercing bonus. <clears throat> So, uh, their hard defense is 870. That's still probably not enough to kill most light tanks, uh, medium tanks they're going to be throwing at us. It just depends. Um, but we can we can improve on those. They are better than a kick in the teeth, though, and they will kill light tanks pretty reliably. Um, now, if I, if I take these off the defensive modifiers, I might be able to get in here. I've got to think about it really, really carefully, and I don't think this is a turn. We need more troops. Um, and we also need our morale to be pretty high. Morale's not terrible. We've seen worse. Uh, it's here that we're, we're sort of struggling, I think. Look at this. I can't even get in around these demons to actually attack them. I think I'm just going to leave all these guys pretty much here. Why can't we move these? Is that posture stopping them from moving? Oh yeah, 50% less action points. Yeah, we're going to have to take these guys off no retreat. Um, got a defense card. Yeah. Order acknowledged. Let's get them on defense. Yeah, they, uh, they'll be able to move next turn. We'll try, try and take them out of these mountains. They don't need to be on no retreat. In fact, no retreat's probably not a great idea for them. Let's just try and threaten a, an encirclement on these here. Let's just try and kill these demons if we can. Whether we like it or, or not, they are, they are working in tandem, you know. Well, sorry, whether they're intending to or not, they are kind of working in tandem with our enemy. I think we've got to move these guys out of these mountains now. Yep. Uh, that, that front's looking a bit shaky. I'm not going to lie. Let's just get group move these guys up. Don't often use that because it's not often a good need for it. But Okay, let's try and put these guys out of their misery. Let's attack him with these buggies. And we'll attack with... Those guys coming from the other side, even though they got no action points. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Okay, killed quite a lot, but we didn't manage to destroy them. 
Uh, let's see if we can finish them off with what's left of these forces here. Okay, they've run. Alright. That was a big, 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 big group of demons killed. And I think some calls for celebration in this dire, otherwise dire situation. Alright. Let's bring these guys back somewhere where they can get some food. Okay, they'll get food there. Uh, 11th Independent Motorbike Regiment. We're going to bring these guys so we can get some more recon points. Our recon's pretty good on uh, on this on this zone here. On Bondshausen. I don't think we're in a position to be able to attack these. Now their readiness is, and morale's going up. Which isn't great. That's not what we want really. Yeah. None of these none of these are looking good. None of these attacks are looking good. We've got to keep our troops on defensive as well. Because we don't want them breaking out. Um, at least for another few turns while our readiness improves. Real, real drastic hit to readiness. The other thing is, is we're just not getting enough supply down here. Uh, we've got bottlenecks by the looks of it. Now, yeah, still building that railhead. Yeah, let's get bring these militia back up this way. Yeah, okay. Let's continue. I think this turn we're just going to repl continue replenishing our troops. Looks like none of them are actually getting to the front where they need to be, though. Yeah, we can't even get any troops out. Okay. Um, in that case, that's probably going to be it for this turn, I'd say. Yeah, logistics is the issue now, I think. Oh, we've got 12, look, this is, this is kind of annoying. I don't need this amount of logistics going up this way. Okay, we need to let a few pool points for you. Not 2,000 worth of, see why, why is it doing that? There, there is no way that I need 2,000 points for logistics. It's, it's reserving 2,000 here. 2,000, you're like, what? Why? There's nothing there. <laughs> There's nothing there, look. So why is it doing that? Uh, it might be because of Oglar Ruins. Okay. Yeah, that's why. All right, I understand now. That makes sense. Uh, so... Yeah, we just need to, we need uh, more people working in our logistics buildings. I think that's the issue. Um, it might be worth trying. Maybe we just stop. Should we just stop work on this? Maybe. Aye, aye, sir. I do need it, but the problem is we can't... I mean, we haven't really got the workers for it at the moment, so... Um, I'll just leave it on 25%. Not... I mean, we're not really heavily bound on industrial points, although it's not... That That is a potential binding coming. There's a lot of ammo as well. And food. And money. And now would be not, not the time to, you know, drop workers' happiness, because, you know, we need to be paying people, but... Yeah. Not that much. I started paying them a little bit too much earlier in the game. I just had to do something in order to get them working and staying in the zone. Uh, model design. This doesn't really matter at this point. Um, make an assault gun. Put a big howitzer on it. And... Let me just... Uh, let me do this in the blueprint system. I don't think we're going to make any of these, to be honest. But uh, we can have a quick look at it. So uh, so the thing is with this, and I, as I keep getting reminded by people, I, apparently I've been wrong. Uh, there was never a 
assault penalty on the, the having the turret it's a defense penalty for some reason which makes no sense to me but there we are uh, apparently it was that's how it's always been and you don't you get you get less of a penalty with the howitzer as you do with a high velocity gun for some bizarre reason so the um yeah because the tank destroyer is for killing uh, tanks that's why you get the high and that one is better in defense so tank destroyer is better in defense um, and it doesn't get a penalty for the high velocity gun uh, because it's got no cupola whereas this one's the other way around it's better in attack it's not so good at defense kind of makes sense i guess you roll it in you point it in the direction it needs to be at whereas the tank destroyers oh, i don't know it doesn't make any sense to me really but there you are and then uh 100 mil how it's a gun we're going to go with let's put 100 mil steel plating on it and then we want to put a decent de a decent engine on it yeah it's gonna have to have a double diesel engine Now, the 100 mil steel plating will keep it alive a lot longer because, look, the hit points is going to be pretty significant. Uh, much more hit points. And is there a big difference between 30% action point per cost and 50%? Probably. Probably quite a lot. Let's just go with 100 mil. Let's get that guy done. I think is there anything else we need? I don't think we've got. Uh, this is one thing I was going to do actually was to look at the organisation and go into the um, applied science council. See where are we going to security tactics? Let's see what we can. What else we can research? We've got fuel optimization. That might be quite useful. Yeah. Okay, so fuel efficiency might be a good one to go for here. Logistical optimization is probably even more important, though, to be honest. So I'm, I'm going to go with that. Uh, once we've got some fuel optimization and we can make a better truck. Um, let's just do the assault gun. It's going to come out next turn, probably. Aye, aye, sir. All right. Uh, protests in Marlet. Let's give Copy them some that. credits. Our spies in Sansari have found information. Right. Let me remind myself of what the name of the... Uh, group is that we want to be getting into power here it's the real politicas so the democratic trade faction understood okay so we want to keep putting spies in there we we need to keep we need to get the you know the, the friendly guys in i don't think it's going to stop them if they really want to win the game and the thing is we're kind of getting like the games should be coming to a close soon <laughs> you say that but i mean I don't think I'm going to finish this game before turn 200, if I even if I survive, which is looking really, really... I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I've had more dire situations than this in the past. If they invade, if they do invade, then... Yeah, look, 26%. Let's see what we can... Can we do anything about that? I think I've looked at this before, and I think the answer is no. Yeah, that's more likely to damage us and help us. Yeah, then we don't have the relations to be able to do anything like this. Ugh. Yeah, no, nothing. We can't do anything there. That's not going to help us at all. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to get peace. I mean, could we get peace with one of these or something? I don't think so. Nah, they're never going to do it. Nine, 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 nine. Yeah, they're not. They're not interested. Most of them are. They're. They're basically aliens or, you know, spiders you can't negotiate. Um, in that case, we're going to continue to send spies into Sansaria. Copy that. Critical success. All right, we got a whole bunch of spies in. That'll do. Um, And we'll, uh, we'll try these. Call. Copy that. Yeah, okay. So we're going to support the faction as well. Uh, Dunkel start. Copy that. Okay. So we got another support faction uh, into Dunkel start. Let's just. Copy that. Let's just try the same with them and we'll see if we can get the uh, 
you know, they're one of the more friendly groups in. Okay, I'm going to leave my pl uh, political points for the next turn. Guys, I'm going to end the episode there. We're bang on half an hour. I think we're going to call it there. Um, not much more we could do. This is this is turning into a bit of a, a problem of logistics again. As Shadow Empire so often does. Uh, it's the way that it goes, I'm afraid. Can we do something with this, I wonder? That might be better. What are we using on these hexes? Yeah, we're going to have a little bit more next turn going this way. That's good. Uh, we could also... Yeah, we really need to. We we really really need to make use of these rail this rail station that we're using because it's not getting any use. I don't think actually we're using it at all. Um, I don't think. Yeah, we have got a railhead here. Look, so, but there's look, there's almost nothing going up that way. I don't. Th I, I'm tempted to close the damn thing down. The thing is. Why don't we get, look, why don't we get a railhead? Yeah, we're trying to put one up here. I wonder if there's anything we can do to support these, uh, this zone. Where are we, zones? Put a private investment in. Okay, we can't do it. Oh, hang on. There we are. Okie dokie. Okay, 190 credits, not a lot. Probably was not worth playing. Yeah, they're not making much money, that's the problem. They haven't got much in the way of private funds. They are building some farmsteads, that will help. Um, oh, they just finished those, that's good. Maybe putting some more money in here. Anyway, we'll do that next turn. <clears throat> Thanks guys, I'll catch you next time. Let me know how you, what you're thinking of this series, by the way. I really do, do enjoy reading all the comments. I'm having less time to answer to the, all of them individually. Um, you know, and I've, by the way, I notice a lot of you, you're just kind of like leaving comments just for the algorithm. I really, really appreciate that. It's really good of you to do that because it, you know, if you use it on a computer or something or a phone, it probably doesn't take long, but it really helps because the more, the more comments that I get, the more, uh, the more engagement I get. And it's just really, it's really, really helping the channel. By the way, uh, sorry for the slowness of the videos. I kind of, I kind of got a bit into Adom this week. <laughs> if any of you are interested in, you know, tactics games, I guess. I guess you know. For those of you who don't know what a roguelike is, roguelike games are really, really interesting. They're kind of procedurally generated, you know, very randomised RPG-like games uh, that have lots and lots of tactical and strategic nuance. They're very, very difficult and very fun. Uh, if you've not, if you're not, if you've not checked out any of my roguelike series, go and check out Adom. I think Adom is probably the most approachable one in terms of the fact that it's got a nice tile set and it also uh, it's got a fantasy vibe. It's got a fantasy game vibe. It's for a, for a roguelike, it's actually very close to a, a, a computer role playing game. So you might want to go and check that out if you haven't, because that is really really cool. Loads of people are watching that series as well. Thousands of views on it, and that was thousands more than i expected to get so uh yeah go and check that out if you haven't all right guys i'll catch you next time take care